which could form an addition polymer. So all we need to find here is double bond. Uh, where are we going to find that? Hmm. We have to write these ones out. Uh, let's go for an easy one. I don't think any of these are easy. That's uh, quite nasty. Let's go for a small one first. What's that going to give us? Uh, C H two. C H two. Oh my God, that goes on for six of them. Uh, fine. Uh, and then at the end, we have an N H two. Uh, so that gives us the three bonds. They still have four, and they still have four. Uh, and so you could get a condensation, you could get that reacting with an alcohol. Uh, so that might give us a condensation uh, polymer. Uh, that's pretty much the same story, except in here it looks a little bit dodgy here. So what's going on here? So we've got a CH, we've just got one H coming off of these ones. Uh, and then that goes to a H2 and does the same thing. So there must be a double bond in there. Uh, and so that gives us the ability to do a addition polymerization by pulling off these bonds and joining them up. Now let's just double check whether uh, B and C could, anything could be done with B and C. Again you've got the CH2, we really need this CH to get the double bonds. Uh, this is, these B and C are quite similar. Uh, this C double, CO2H, I'm not quite sure what that means there, but it's not a double bond. Uh, it looks like an amino acid of some sort, possibly, depending on what really is going on here. Uh, and so that would also give us a condensation. Uh, and that's just the same story again. We've got these um, hydroxyl groups and amino groups that can take a small water molecule off to be a condensation polymer, not, polymer, not an addition polymer. So they're all similar uh, to each other, A, C, and D, so the answer must be B.